All right, what I, what I was talking to the guys about was the hurting, healing, and harmonizing aspect of, of what we do. And with it, you know, being this time of the year, normally, you know, we, we, we address this right as the end of summer, early spring. What happens is we want to try to keep our bodies in harmony with the cycles of the system. Being that there's four seasons, we want to try to, you know, um, maintain that harmony in our body. And part of that is when we transition from summer, which is a hot season, which, you know, uh, typically means that the heart itself is highly active, okay? It's usually the season where the heart is really highly active. Uh, then as we transition into the fall season from summer, uh, the lungs become the primary, you know, energy um, organ at this point. So what we happen, and what happens, that's the transition time when your body is now having to adjust to the, the cooler nights, the things of that nature as, as the fall starts to come. So what we want to do is try to focus on our breathing patterns to ensure that we are adjusting with the seasons um, as part of the harmon you know, harmonizing your body with nature itself. Um, one of the you know, things that you want to keep in mind is what happens is the, the lungs get affected by the uh, change in temperature first. They're actually the first organ, as they say, that uh, is actually affected by weather change. So that's why you usually catch the cold. You get these lung respiratory infections and stuff like that during that change in our transition season. Uh, so one of the first things that we want to try to focus on is the, it's basically the rhythm of the breath. Okay, we typically breathe you know, in and out fairly evenly. But what we want to try to do is, as we know with the changing of the seasons and preparing for those change, what we want to do is exhale longer than we inhale. Okay, that doesn't mean, you know, you, you, you have to make massive breaths. You just exhale slower. You can, you know, you don't have to, you know, all of a sudden create these different breaths. But what you do is just exhale longer. And what happens is it tends to send the energy or the prana in the body out towards the surface versus contracting in. Normally in the cold seasons when the weather is really uh, warm or summer season, Okay, your body becomes real yang, so basically what you do is you breathe longer in because you're trying to take in more air to cool the inner organs. And, and now it's kind of just the opposite. Now what you're looking to do is exhale longer so you start to extend and expand the energy of the body so it starts to go out towards the skin, which will kind of help keep you warm. Um, a lot of times, you know, tell people that what we do is we deal with the, um, the what you call the aura, depending on where, where, where you are, or the guardian chi, they call it the same thing, is just the perimeter or the surface of your body when you're trying to do these things. Um, and what you're looking to do is expand that during the winter months. Now what happens, you know, for a long day, I, I tell people, you know, you can do a, look at it two ways, okay? Normally we, we were affected by germs when we inhale. Okay, a lot of times colds are caught by being around another person coughing and all that other stuff, and those particles are, okay? Um, if you don't want to get into all the real metaphysical side like that, just when you're around people that are doing that, exhale longer because what you're doing is, if nothing else, you're pushing those germs away from your body more than you're drawing them to your body. You see, if I stand, if I stand there and breathe in longer, you, you tend to, to, to draw stuff. But if I blow out longer or exhale longer, <laughs> I tend to push stuff away. So that's, I mean, that's the real, the simplest way to look at it. But you also, it also has to do with your, your, the, ener the actual energy body. You know, that vital energy in your body can, will actually expand. And just like we talked about the aura, when you can start to feel yourself or feel like you're moving your hair, that energy starts to increase around you. Um, now, what we want to do, I said all that, to do, we want to start to focus on certain exercises for the lungs. Okay, the lungs and the heart are really in unison with one another in that they change, the change of the seasons come together, or, you know, change from summer to, to, to fall. And not only that, but they sit where they actually physically interact with one another. You see, if you start breathing heavy, guess what? Your heart starts beating faster. You start, your heart starts beating faster, guess what? You start breathing heavy. You see? So, so the thing is, is with it, so they are interconnected in that sense 
that they respond. Each one of them's energy affects one another. So uh, what we want to try to do, we, we, we focus on uh, some of these modras, which, you know, uh, allow us to, to exercise the organs, more focused on the organs uh, than anything else.